today I went to the gym. Everyone says the gym is the absolute worst place to go. That's just not true. So many stories happen at the gym. Story of what happens at a school gym. Now, the only reason I go to the gym in college is because we have free, that's free with tuition. Now, everyone always says, oh, you mean you pay tuition and you get the gym for free. No, it's free with tuition, especially when the government is paying. So, you know, might as well go run a little bit. Just kind of be there among the people and be like, yeah, you're working out. I'm working out by association. Maybe I'll get on that one machine. If anyone ever says that the gym is the absolute worst place in the world, they don't like to people watch. But if people watching is your skill, I have some stories for y'all. As I'm like running and trying to work out, I'm trying to think anything would be better than this right now. So naturally my mind goes off, there's a giant window, so I'm like, ah, oh, people getting off the bus and going to class. Strange couples, people watching, my hobbies. And then as I'm just trying to casually mind my own business and look at other people doing different things, the guy who's working out in front of me decides that he's going to use his shirt as like a rag to wipe off all his nasty sweat. But you know what? That's fine with me. I get that. I use my shirt too. Who needs a napkin when you have a t-shirt? Right? Same thing works with sweat. <laughs> because there was an over-exaggerated need of area of shirt per face. So, I'm thinking he just wanted to show off his muscles a little bit more than he wanted to wipe off his sweat. The proof that takes the cake though, as he's wiping off his sweat, I see him casually look down really quick. <laughs> oh, I get it. When you work out so much, you have to check if your abs are still there. <sighs> Can't really. But regardless, it was very important to him to make sure that all his muscle mass was still there after probably 20 minutes on the treadmill. Buddy, you didn't run off your abs on the treadmill. You didn't gain any either, I'm sure, because you were here for probably as long as I've been here. It's so like 10 minutes. Okay, thank you. There I am, working out still, listening to 21 Pilots, just thinking, dear God, anything would be better than this. But it's free, and I'm just keeping on doing this Stairmaster, whatever equipment piece this is, when all of a sudden, I see an employee walk by. He's walking by, and he's kind of like making sure the equipment is where it should be. I'm already relating to him because he's just using his foot to kind of like, oh, Nadja, like you go like a little bit over there. Just relate. As he's doing this, he has a bowl of yogurt and he's kind of just eating it. I'm looking around, saying, yeah, everything's in check. Why didn't I think of that? Why don't I work at a gym and eat food there all the time? And then I can just go up to people and say, <laughs> Bro, do you even lift? Cause I do. And lifts fork to mouth. <laughs> anyway, that was my day at the gym. Hmm. Now I'm gonna reward myself by eating. Wow, this is freaking good. Mm. Who that? There's some car. They just stop. Now they're backing up. Mmm. Now they're going forward. The joys of a cul-de-sac. I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment on your life, and maybe I'll get back to you on that. Yes! Yeah.